Welcome back here to Up North at Four. Blake Hedela joins us now, and fun fact, the first head coach of yes. the newest Eagle River junior hockey team, the Wisconsin Wendigo. By the way, Blake, congrats on getting the gig. Mm -hmm. Where were you when you found out that you were gonna be named the guy? <laughs> uh, thanks for having me, first of all. Uh, I was at my house in Green Bay. Uh, my previous job, I was an assistant coach mm -hmm. with the Green Bay Gamblers in the USHL. So, um, yeah, I think I was just at home and got the call, and my wife was right there, so we were excited. Awesome. Yeah, yeah so here we are, day one. Uh, you're a junior, this is the Junior Hockey League. So yep. these, are, these are players who want to go on and do really good things. Yep. So your job is a developmental one, am I right? Yep. Yeah, it's a developmental league. Um, kids at our level are trying to earn opportunities in college and hopefully eventually pro hockey, and, mm -hmm. um, you know, that's kind of the main job of us is help those kids get there. Mm -hmm. And so you obviously have a background in hockey, you yep. played a little bit. Um, younger guys, early 20s, so I'm sure they're still kind of getting the the feel for how things work, not as a professional per yep. se, but how they can take their game to the next level. So how do you as someone who has that experience of playing uh, pretty recently too, like you're a young guy yourself, is it just a matter of relating to them and saying like, this is just how you do it? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think one of the biggest things we do is develop relationships with mm -hmm. these kids and get them to trust you and mm -hmm. um, you know, help them that way. Obviously, like you said, I played not very long ago. Uh, I've been coaching now for five years, but before that, I played a couple years pro and played at Michigan Tech University. So, um, yeah, I, I try to draw on a lot of my own experiences. Mm -hmm. And you know, <laughs> they're 16 to 20, so that a lot of times they're a little hesitant to trust you. And, yeah, but yeah. Uh, but it's a process and and it's. A rewarding one when when you do see some success out of it. Perfect. Yeah. So here we are, pretty much day one. You're living out of your car basically right now, <laughs> right? You haven't found a house yet. You know, you're putting a team together. Where do you start? Uh, well, fortunately, um, I'm not starting from scratch. The magicians mm -hmm. moved from Minnesota to Eagle River, so I retain their returning players and their protected list. So we've got a good core back, and now it's just uh, trying to find the right guys to fill out that roster. Um, mm -hmm. Through we've got a draft here and coming up in June, so we've kind of just been preparing for that uh, for a couple weeks since I got the job. So what do you kind of look for uh, when it comes to the draft for the NAHL? Um, you just looking for guys who you think can sort of take the team to the next level, guys who you think are ready to take that next step. What is sort of the process behind the scenes, if you will? It's a little bit of a balance. Um, you know, obviously we've got the current roster, we're, so we're trying to plug some guys into holes that mm -hmm. think that make us more of a complete team. And then right. you're also looking for guys that, you know, maybe this kid's going to help us for two or three years and, you know, set us up for some sex, success, you know, for the long term. Totally. Yep. Yeah, it's amazing to me how competitive this league is. And these are and these are kids who are putting kind of college on hold to pursue a career in, you know, in professional hockey for sale, yep. right? So they put all they have into this. And, you know, do you feel some responsibility to kind of get them to the next level? 100%, yeah. Um, and it's not obviously one I take lightly, mm -hmm. but uh, it's kind of that first level where it starts to become more of a job for these mm -hmm. kids. Um, and obviously we want it to be mainly the first thing is fun. Yeah. You gotta have fun and enjoy it to come to the rink every day, but it does start to become a little bit of a job. And um, I think just with the age of where the kids are at, yeah. it's uh, it's pretty neat to see some kids mature over, like if you have a kid for two or three years and you see him really kind of come from a boy into a man and right. you know, send him off to college and it's, uh, can be pretty rewarding. Yep. And obviously you have, you put a lot of pressure on yourself to, you know, get these guys ready for the next level. Yep. And not to put more pressure on you, but Eagle River, it's the Wisconsin mm -hmm. hockey, <laughs> hockey capital, capital of the, of the state. world. Right so, yep. you know, obviously people there love hockey. They care about hockey. What, uh, if I'm a fan going to a game yep. at the Dome next season, yep. what can I expect the Wisconsin Windigo to look like? What, what can I expect to see on the ice? <laughs> uh, and we're, that's the main goal. Like, hopefully we're going to put a good product on the ice. Um, we want to play a fast, up-tempo, mm -hmm. exciting brand of hockey. Um, myself, I'm kind of an offensive-minded coach, so um, I think we're going to embody that a little bit. And um, we're going to compete hard as well. Um, I love this area. It's an area of, filled with blue-collar people, and we're hoping to embody that a little bit as well. So I'm picturing some high-scoring games. <laughs> yes. A lot of contact. Uh, yeah, so, you know, when do the games begin? When does the season start? Uh, 
Mid, middle of September. Okay. Um, I don't have the schedule yet, but normally uh, the North American League showcase is kind of the kickoff to the season, mm -hmm. and that's going to be typically around that third weekend of September, uh, where the whole league comes to, together in Blaine, Minnesota, and gets the regular season started. We gotta go. We gotta go. We, I, I, I actually do want to go. Yeah, to and we should games. have a couple uh, preseason games at home before that. So yeah, yeah, especially we'll, the name Windigo is just it's sick. Yeah, it's a the, sick name. The logo is pretty sharp. <laughs> I love it. Yep. So Blake. Don't go anywhere, all right? Yeah. We are going to take a quick break. I'm going to challenge Jeff to a little bit of a hockey shootout. We're going to put Blake's uh, coaching skill on the line here. So we'll be right back on Up North at 4. There's a look. And welcome back here to Up North at 4. The gauntlet has been thrown down. I have challenged Jeff to a mini hockey shootout. As you can see, we have targets some NAHL rivals of our hometown, Wisconsin Windigo, because we're coming for these teams out here. We are gonna yeah. knock them down. Uh, here's, here's kind of the rules of the game, Jeff. We're gonna alternate, let's say we get five shots each, okay? Okay. Hit a target, it's a point. You go backhand, two points. Most okay. points at the end, they win. I'm thinking, Blake, winner, we get a tryout for the Windigo this fall. Happy to have you. Uh, All right, let's do okay. it. Any tips I should know before I get I think going? to start, we're going to have to get some longer sticks in yeah, here. That might be, yeah, that might be <laughs> best. Okay, so about, Nate bought this yesterday. I'm I like, did. Nate, we have a budget for this show. You can spend a little money. And he hey. came back with a $20 set of it. Whatever, you know, <laughs> it works. And I was playing at my desk yesterday, and I think I feel pretty good. All right, so I'll go first, Jeff. Okay, you ready for you this? go first. I'll get out of your I'm way. I'm going to go right here for, I think this is the Chippewa Steel, I think is the team yep. up here. Okay. And they're going down. Ready? You're blue. Nate is going top shot. Oh, you missed it. I missed. <laughs> now it's my All turn. Right, Jeff, I'm 0 for 1. Oh, oh. oh I hit the green, but I on the back. That was close. Back. Okay. I don't like that. So still not. So we're 0 0. Blake, what are you seeing so far? I think we uh, we can use our bodies a little bit more. You guys okay. are all wrists right now. All wrists? Yeah. I got to limber up. Yep. Shift that weight back foot to front foot. All right. <laughs> Shift in the weight. Janesville Jets. <laughs> Done. The, oh, I gotta get it up more. The Janesville. <laughs> Jeff, one right. of us has gotta hit it here. Here we go. We got it. He said we're, use we're the body for it. So. Oh, for oh. Okay. Shoot. It's like a good power behind it. Now we gotta focus a little bit on our follow through. Okay. Gotta follow point, through. Point where you want that the puck to go. All right. All right. So I'm I'm thinking here. I think this team in the bottom right. Secret point here. The Minnesota. Okay. Oh. Wait, okay go ahead. Go sharing ahead. secrets. Yeah. What's going on? All right. Minnesota Wilderness. Yep. I'm gonna get on the board here, Jeff. All right. Here it is. Oh, go! Oh, that one. Okay, felt watch good. this. I'm gonna do like this. Oh, there thing. we go. Watch this. You're getting down on one knee to go. Oh, that was a good looking shot. Looking like though. a that cross a crease <laughs> one timer, Alex Ovechkin. Yep. All right, we're uh, we have two more shots, right? Okay, I think so. Zero zero. Zero mm -hmm. zero. Right. Jeff, this is an embarrassing performance. A bit. There's, you know, the people watching think we're tools, but it's okay. Well, I also have zero hockey experience, unlike you. Okay, so well, let's keep going. I'm just saying, like this, this should have been right up your alley. I'm, I'm going top shelf real quick. <laughs> oh, nope. Still, I didn't get still it nothing. All right, I'm going to go top We might two, have to go uh, tiebreaker, Jeff. <laughs> I feel like I have control of it, Blake, but it's just not happening. <laughs> You're all close. Right. You're close. I just, all right, one more. I, just we can, get I think we board. can blame it all on the stick I just got to right get now. on the board. Yep. I'm feeling bottom left corner ice dogs. They're going down. <laughs> nothing okay. but net. I do. Yes, nothing but net, nothing but... Cardboard. Oh. <laughs> that was, where was that going? I, the, the net was in the wrong spot. All right, spot. so the game is all mine right now, right? Yep. The, the game is uh, literally on your stick. This is a winner if you hit it, Jeff. Oh. oh. Okay. Tiebreaker, one more, one more each. Okay. Do we have time for that? I think can I get a celebrity seconds. guest shot from, from Blake? Let's see if Blake can take it Blake. Blake? I'm a righty. Okay, okay he's, he's a righty. I'll let him Where go. am I going with this? All right. I'm going to go I'm gonna... hit the steel. Yeah, go hit for the, the steel, steel up top left. Top shelf from... Oh, that looks good. So he makes it look easy. Blake, I think it's fair to say Jeff and I would not make the Wisconsin win to go, but maybe this fall we can come on out. Purely based off of eligibility standards. That but, also but is yeah. true, too, yes. Yeah, yeah. But we might have to come out, join us some fan clubs or something. Are we inviting ourselves? I'm inviting myself. We'd love to Blake, have you. I'm not even giving you We just heard say. it. You'd love to have yeah. us, so here We'd we go. We're coming Blake, out. No. Blake, I appreciate you coming yep. on today. Thank you, good guys. I appreciate season. it. We're yep. excited to Thanks, watch. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Yep. We'll be right back here at Up North at 4.